But the thing is they were including some terms like disabled um, in their view of what constitutes stigmatizing language that reflects a particular perspective on disability, um, a perspective that disability is like a bad thing rooted in the person, which I guess actually is the medical model of disability, come to think of it. Um, so I retract that. I guess they were in the medical model um, perspective. Um, and, you know, a lot of people just don't agree with that perspective on what disability is. They think of it as something that is caused by society, by society's failure to accommodate and include, or, uh, and this is my own personal view, that there's a mismatch between the person and the environment, that the environment is just not geared towards that particular person. Um, and so... Um, there, 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 it could mean that teaching the person some useful coping skills will, you know, address that issue. But more likely, there's going to be a need on the part of society to shift. So getting back to this paper, there's some, some circularity here. These people are so enmeshed in their own sort of paradigm that they're having some difficulty seeing beyond it. They're starting to see some circularity in, in their views. And so when I was responding to this paper, I was talking about exactly this, that yeah, I think what we're seeing here is some incommensurability that um, these different communities have such different understandings of the language, such different ways of operationalizing concepts, that it's just really hard for people to step out of that place that they're in and to see things from the other perspective um, and so it, it, even when people are actually trying, um, they end up just sort of reinforcing their, their own existing opinions and realizing that, oh, yeah, the other people are saying things that are, are bad under my paradigm. And so, we, and so, yeah, they really were wrong and my paradigm was right.